Hi, I'm Michael Levine. Today we're going to look at the Ministry of Supply response, uh, Responsive Tee. They have this t-shirt listed as a base layer t-shirt, so it's a little bit more fitted than an uh, outerwear regular t-shirt would be. Um, I bought this t-shirt at Ministry of Supply in their Atlanta store for $35. They had two colors, black and white. It is 100% polyester, and let me see here, made in China, 100% Escafé polyester, machine wash, cold, tumble, dry low, do not dry clean, do not uh, hot iron, and do not press. So one thing we have to call out that they didn't mention here was do not use fabric softeners when you wash it, because fabric softener will leave a silicone coating over the surface of the fabric and prevent the performance features of the Escafé polyester from actually doing their job. And I'll explain what those are in just a minute. So Escafé, wh what it is, is uh, polyester, which is normally made from, you extrude it from chips. So when they make the chips, they actually blend it with a processed, used coffee grounds. So there's no coffee smell, by the way. But what they do is they take coffee grounds, they process them in a certain way, and then they blend them in with the polyester and then solidify it into a chip. Then they take that chip and they create it into the uh, fiber, kind of looks like cotton, spin it into a yarn and weave it into fabric, and then you can dye it. This particular fabric, I believe, is dope dye, which is another process which is really cool. Dope dye is when you dye the chip rather than dyeing the fabric. They, so basically making the polyester colored before, rather than taking the polyester, weaving it into fabric, and then applying a dye process, which involves a lot of water and other chemicals. So the dope dye process, the yarn is colored before, or the fiber is colored before you even make it into yarn. And so then there's no finishing process, saves water, um, less contamination to the environment. The whole textile process is kind of eliminated. So now what is Escafé polyester? Well, like I mentioned, it is the coffee grounds, the process are blended into the poly, and those give the polyester certain performance features. One is odor control because the coffee flake or coffee ground itself is going to absorb odor and it's going to be porous, it's going to want to absorb odor. For the same reason, it's going to be reflective against UV light. So any type of garment is going to block the sunlight from getting through to your body. It offers you that UV protection. The same fabric in an Escafé Poly is going to be enhanced the UV protection somewhat, probably up to uh, 50 UPF. So basically you're going to have full sun protection uh, anywhere where the fabric or the garment covers you. Um, Escafé polyester is fast drying, moisture wicking, fast drying. So the coffee grounds will absorb the moisture and cause it to spread, which gives it more surface area uh, to meet with the air, which causes it to evaporate and dry and give you a cooling effect. Uh, also has a nice cool touch because the polyester treated with the coffee grounds, uh, it becomes a better conductor of heat than without it. So. It conducts the heat away, it pulls it away from you, feels cool to the touch. I'm going to take this shirt, I'm going to wear it as an active wear shirt to the gym. We'll try it on through my workout today, see how it performs. If it's truly uh, moisture wicking, I'll know because I sweat a lot when I work out. And we'll know the odor control immediately as well. And I'll come back and sum it up afterwards, so stick around. <music> Thank you.
All right, so I took the shirt, the Escafe Ministry of Supply shirt through its paces, um, did everything it said it was going to do. I do think it was a little bit warmer than I would have liked, and not so much because the Escafe didn't work, but because of the weave. The fabric is a tight weave, and really when you go to the gym, those type of shirts typically are a mesh fabric, so you get a little bit more breathability. So I, I felt like that. Um, maybe to wear this shirt underneath a dress shirt, you know, like a typical undershirt would be okay, but um, to wear it to do workouts and things like that, it's gonna be a little warm, a little uh, retention of heat there. It was also tight fitting, not too tight, but fitted. And um, so once again, it's not designed to be worn as a regular t-shirt, but at more like an undershirt or a base layer. And I think that it, actually that's what it's best for so i would recommend the shirt did like it i do like all the properties that are um, available because of the escafe treatment i really like that dope dye process and like to see more uh, items with dope dye because uh, you know no fading you really can't wash it out it's permanently in there into the embedded into the polyester so i think it, there's a lot of advantages to that you know, anytime you might have wet or dry crocking issues with the darker colors, which is where um, the fabric may be rubbed on something and you can actually see the color come off, that's not going to happen in this. Uh, at least I would think not. And uh, overall, I think it, this would be a, a great product and great concept. There's a lot of different yarns available, different weaves available. If you're interested in making something with the Escafe properties, in, uh, in a garment that for your company, please give me a call. I work for the largest uh, capacity manufacturer in Vietnam. All our factories in Vietnam, we have 22 different plants. We have knitting and weaving capacity as well. We make everything from bridal gowns all the way to active wear and everything in between outerwear, just, uh, just about everything except underwear and socks. Uh, and if you like my video and you want to continue seeing more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell so you get notified every time I put a new video up. Thank you for your time.